Hear me? Okay, is that better? It's not letting me sit. Hello? Yeah, I heard you, Mr. Yellow. Yep. Okay, all right. Uh, what you, what you, what you, know you did? These, uh, these are going on or not? Uh, All right, can you repeat that one more time? Did you let PD know that these hearings are going on or no? I did not know. Hmm. All right. All right, fair enough. Uh, uh, it, was, it was not part of the protocol for the other uh, head of DOJ, so I was not aware that we had to make them know. Hmm. All right, that's fine. It's all cool, brother. Moving well, forward, well, I'll, uh, I will do that. Yeah, I mean, you can let them know that the hearing is going on. If they have any objections to the expungement being granted, they can come and speak if they wish. Who, uh, who are we starting with? I'm looking for the, the big boy. Uh, we're looking, we're going to start with B27. Uh, that'll be Eduardo Big Lord. Yeah, hey, where is that in the file you. cabinet? Mr. Okay, Mr. I'll, uh, I'll add you. I think it'll be easier that way. Yeah, that's probably fine. <laughs> that's probably good. All right, so just have your client sit next to you, and then, uh, who, who's this, sir, who, what's your name? Okay, Mr. Anderson, if you could, would you sit behind the, uh, behind the attorney in the gallery, and give us a, a jury trial? All right, no worries. Okay, no, 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 that's fine, it's fine. That's okay. Excuse me, Dean. Excuse me, Dean. Dean, get up, gang. Stand up real quick. Gotta get up. Thanks, buddy. Okay, we're just just waiting for uh, Mr. Sapphire to send me the thing, and then once I find the right location, we can start. Oh, you didn't you don't see it yet? I um no, I highlighted it for you. Really? In the in the Department of Justice channels? Uh, yeah, I'll do it again. Yeah, what the hell? What's what sub is it? Oh, there it is. Now hold on. Um, it's under courthouse file. Okay. Say, Eduardo Big Lord, right? Yeah, you can walk in. Can you repeat that one more time? It's for Eduardo, right? This is Eduardo? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Then you can take your position next to your attorney. Uh, Mr. Sapphire, um, you can go up to the speaking podium when you get started, okay? Mr. Sapphire. Mr. Sapphire. Yeah, what's going on? Not Paul's girl. Okay. It's my sister. What, what Isabel, you said? Yeah, Izzy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just stand. Uh, stand by the desk over there. All right. Thanks. All right. Court is now in session. My name is Golden Yellow. I'll be the presiding judge. Uh, Your Honor, we're gathered here today for the expungement for Mr. Ed Warlow. Okay. Uh, which is case uh, B27 in the San Andreas uh, records. Uh, the charges that we wish to get expunged today are five counts of attempted murder, one count of second degree murder, one count of obstruction of justice, one count criminal possession of a class two firearm, two counts of reckless evading, one count of aggravated assault and battery, one count of criminal possession of a class one firearm. Uh, Mr. Edwarla has been waiting, I believe, an estimated around three months since his last offense had occurred. Uh, just due to the nature of a little mix up between my former partner of the law firm, Harvey Specter, and myself, you know, his case kind of got uh, misplaced and kind of got put at the bottom of the pile, unfortunately. However, that has not stopped Mr. Edwarla, though. He has recently become the one of the co-owners of PDM. And although though he did make many mistakes in his past, 
he has paid the price of regret and he would like to move towards the future and he would like to do that with a clean record uh you know not that the record stops him from doing anything but he would like to know that his darkness has shed past him and that he could look towards the bright future in a new life being a wonderful civilian in this great town of los santos uh, we have two character witnesses today for Mr. Edwarlo. We have Leo Anderson, and I believe we have Izzy Bennett to speak on his behalf. Okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sefar, just for clerical reasons, um, let's see. Could you, your, your client, excuse me, Mr. Uh, I don't want to say your name wrong. It's Big Law, correct? Yes, sir, it is. Okay, okay. If you could just for the record state your full name as well as uh, your date of birth. Eduardo Biglot, 080995. Okay. I do see something here before we get to the character witnesses that confuses me. Uh, Mr. Sapphire, uh, it says here, maybe it's a mis misnoting, but it says that a Class 3 wep weapons manufacturing license was issued in July. Was it July the 2nd? Is that, is that true? If so, I have not never received it, but I do also own part owner of a couple of gun stores, so it would make sense. But I never had received that or was told that. Okay, we'll have to, we'll have to arrange that. Uh, I don't know the previous judge what his ruling was about any of this, but he, it looks like he notated in your record that you actually have a class three license for manufacturing, but you're legally not able to have that because as of right this moment, you're a convicted felon, obviously. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll get that cleared up. Um, all right, Mr. Saffer, if you wish to, you can, uh, you can request, you can have your client sit, uh, go back to the, uh, to the, to the pulpit on the side. And then, uh, you could uh, ask one of his character witnesses of your choice to come up and uh, speak for a moment if you like. Uh, yes, we'd like to bring Leo Anderson up to the stage. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. If you could, could you state your name and your date of birth for the record, please? Yes, sir. Uh, Leo Anderson, 1021-95. Okay, Mr. Anderson. Uh, Mr. Sapphire indicates you've come here today of your own free will to act as a character witness for Mr. Big Law today. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. What uh, What would you like to share with the court today? Uh, I'd just like to say, you know, coming into the city, uh, Big Ed, you know, he's a little hothead. He was running with the wrong crowd. But he's definitely on the straight and narrow now, you know. Like he said, he's co-owner of PDM. He owns a couple gun shops. He's also co-owner of the taco shop. And as his record says for itself, he's been uh, staying out the streets, you know. So I feel like he should be have a clean record for the future. Opens up a lot of opportunities for him, you know. Understood. How do you uh, how do you know Mr. Big Lod? Oh, uh, we're close friends. You know, uh, like I said, we're co-owners, so we're business partners. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Do you have anything else you'd like to add, sir? Uh, not really. You know, but uh, Big Ed, Big Ed's definitely changed, man. I've definitely uh, seen improvement in him. You know, a little more maturity. You know, he doesn't get uh, as hot-headed as he used to, so he's definitely learned from his mistakes. But that's all I have to say about him. All right, Mr. Anderson, obviously on behalf of Mr. Big Law, the court appreciates you coming to spend time and gave your testimony today. So thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, John. All right, uh, Mr. Sapphire, you said you had another uh, individual that wished to speak? Uh, yes, I believe we have Izzy Bennett on behalf uh, to speak about Mr. Big Law. Hello. Hello, Ms. Bennett, if you could, for the record, could you state your name and date of birth, please? Yep, my name is Izzy Bennett. My uh, uh, birthday is July 14, 2000. Okay. And you've come here of your own free will today to act as a character witness, excuse me, as a character witness for Mr. Big Lod, correct? Yes. Okay. How do you know Mr. Big Lod? Um, I'm close friends with him. Okay. All right. Uh, the floor is yours. What would you like to share with the court today? Um, like I said, I've been close friends with him for a while now. I met him when I was working as an EMS, uh, and I honestly never seen him do anything like 
wrong. So I, it's really hard for me to believe that we're here. But uh, I believe he's a changed man, and uh, I think he's focused more on his businesses now. And I think only good things will come from this after this. All right, Ms. Bennett, do you have anything else to add today? No, that's it. Okay, Ms. Bennett, on behalf of Mr. Bigelow and the court, we definitely appreciate the time to come and share that with us today. Thank I'm sure uh, it would be helpful for Mr. Bigelow. So thank you very much. Your uh, your are dismissed back to the gallery. Thank you. All right, Mr. Sapphire, is there anyone else that would like to speak, or do you have anything else that you would like to add to the proceedings at this time? Uh, we do not have any additional character witnesses. Those are the only two that we have brought uh, to court today. Uh, okay. The only thing I ask is that, uh, you know, we can serve justice to Mr. Eduardo Biglaw today. Like I said, it's been, I believe, 90 days since his last offense. I think it's more than adequate, uh, especially for a town such as Los Angeles with such a high crime rate, uh, for him to deserve his expungement today and, you know, and that we could, uh, you know, appease the court and hopefully appease Mr. Big Law with a victory. Okay. All right. If you, if you would, if you give me just a couple of minutes, there's a couple of things I uh, would like to look up in the back. Uh, if you don't mind, my tablet seems not to be working here for a moment. So it'll take me just, just a minute or two and then I'll come right back. Is right with you, Mr. Sapphire? And that is excellent. All right. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves and uh, make sure you're properly fed and uh, uh, your thirst is quenched. And I'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Absolutely. You didn't fucking tell me that, bro. I shouldn't have to tell you, bro. We do charity work. Okay, bro. Uh, but... You know what? I didn't know that uh, he was going to ask the questions. You know, with the other judge, I asked the questions. You know, it's eh, I'm not oh, blaming shit. anybody. It's just, you know, yeah, no, it's a I new like judge, it. new like process. It. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. What do you say? Yeah. After, what do you say? After, you know, he's he's got to get it. He's got to he's got to take a break for a second. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's going to look up the charges, make sure everything that we said is accurate. He's so so guess what? He said well. my he record. Said, yeah, most likely. Uh, he said record. that I've already been issued a class three. Yeah, what the fuck was that about? Yeah, I, I don't I know. Mean, that so that the, blew me off way. I was like, what the? Fuck? So I wouldn't have gotten in trouble. <laughs> what? What the fuck, bro? I wonder if because you remember what dude, happened to my Mickey, class three. Mickey Haller was yeah. doing some wild shit. I guess. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's Oprah out there. You get a class three. You get a yeah, class yeah. three. You get a class nice. three. It's crazy. Well, I one never of, received it, got it, nothing. One of our business partners at the gun stores, we really paid 1.2 million for his class three as well. That, already that is mine. how much we charge. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, we already paid for it, and nothing's come from it. Like three months. Who is it? Who's the client? Uh, Julius, Julius Red. Red. Remember? You know, I, I told you. Do I have his number? Oh, yeah, you gave it to me, right? Yeah. Yeah, I gave it to you. When I first yeah. met you, we had talked about it. Oh, yeah. here he is. Here he is. Here he is. All right, everybody. We'll go ahead and just continue the court session that was brought in just a moment ago. I do apologize for the delay. Um, so after the hearing the testimony, the only thing I would like to remind you, Mr. Sapphire and uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Biglob, is that Character witnesses of and themselves need to maintain a high level of character, right? It doesn't make sense for someone with, you know, a substandard character to be coming speaking about somebody else's good qualities. Uh, in this instance, uh, your your associate, Mr. Anderson, has is a convicted felon, uh, but in the eyes of the court, it's uh, not something that uh, we are going to hold against you. Uh, just make sure that in the future, Mr. Sefar, you do a background check on the people that you bring before the court. That being said. Mr. Bigelow, I'm very, I'm very, uh, very pleased to see that you've turned a new leaf. Uh, you are known as the owner of the PBM, uh, and I've not seen even a hiccup with the traffic light on your record uh, since May, which, to Mr. Sapphire's quote earlier, is that this, you know, this city, especially in Los Santos, uh, you, you can fart and get into a gunshot war of some degree. So, so if the court commends you on your good behavior. Uh, and as such, I'm more than happy to issue this explanation with the record of the court. Oh, by your, excuse me, hereby order the following charges will be removed from your record. Five counts of attempted murder, one count of second degree murder, one count of obstruction of justice, one count of criminal possession of a class two firearm, one count of criminal possession of a class one firearm, one count of reckless evading, and one count of aggravated assault and battery. The court does remind you, Mr. Biglow, that this is a once per lifetime opportunity. 
if you do happen to have some sort of trouble down the road, uh, unfortunately, this this entire process, all the time you've spent, would be for none. Do you have any questions for the court, Mr. Bigelow? I do have one question, sir. Thank you. I Absolutely. appreciate you, you and your kindness and understanding. Um, since I already have that class three, will I have to go through back through this? Uh, or can it, is it something that not, be, can be issued back? So what I would say is that unfortunately, the, the I can't speak to what happened before that I got here, but as a as a matter of law, you you cannot have that at the time that it was given to you. I don't know why the judge did that. It's probably an oversight on his part. Uh, but once this gets recorded uh, with uh, with the police department, the FIB, that you know this court order erases your record, you can then go through that process uh, with the attorney. Now, what I will say is that moving forward, I know that there's a lot of a lot of changes coming. Our infrastructure team is working very hard. I know some things coming in the next couple of days. Uh, there will also be a 